Today's medical-centric topic is, what is anaplastic ependymoma? Anaplastic ependymoma is a rare, aggressive type of brain tumor that forms in the cells lining the ventricles of the brain and the spinal cord. It primarily affects children, but can also occur in adults. Understanding this tumor's symptoms, causes, and treatment options is critical for managing the condition effectively. 1. What is anaplastic ependymoma? Anaplastic ependymoma is a malignant tumor that originates from ependymol cells, which line the fluid-filled spaces in the brain and spinal cord. It is classified as grade 3, meaning it grows rapidly and is more likely to spread compared to lower-grade ependymomas. These tumors can obstruct the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, leading to increased pressure on the brain. 2. Symptoms of Anaplastic Ependymoma The symptoms of anaplastic ependymoma vary depending on the tumor's location and size, but may include headaches, often due to increased pressure in the brain, nausea and vomiting, resulting from pressure on the brain or spinal cord, seizures, a common symptom if the tumor is located in certain areas of the brain, difficulty walking or balancing, due to pressure on the brain or spinal cord. Weakness or numbness. If the tumor affects the spinal cord, it can cause weakness or sensory issues. In children, symptoms may also include developmental delays, irritability, or changes in behavior. 3. Causes of Anaplastic Ependymoma The exact cause of anaplastic ependymoma is not well understood. However, like many cancers, it is thought to arise from genetic mutations that cause abnormal cell growth. While there are no known lifestyle factors linked to this tumor, certain genetic conditions such as neurofibromatosis type 2, NF2, may increase the risk. 4. Diagnosing Anaplastic Ependymoma to diagnose anaplastic ependymoma, doctors typically use imaging tests such as an MRI or CT scan to visualize the tumor. A biopsy may be performed to confirm the diagnosis by analyzing the tumor cells under a microscope. Additional tests such as a lumbar puncture may be used to check for cancer cells in the cerebrospinal fluid. 5. Treatment for Anaplastic Ependymoma Treatment usually involves a combination of surgery, radiation therapy, and sometimes chemotherapy. Surgery. The primary treatment is surgical removal of the tumor, though complete removal may be difficult due to the tumor's location. Radiation therapy. Often used after surgeries to destroy remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. Chemotherapy. While not always effective for this type of tumor, it may be used in certain cases, especially in young children. Regular follow-up and monitoring are necessary to manage potential recurrences. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.